Welcome to Breathe and Move, the wellness space at St. Patrick's Festival with Happenings and the Sea. We're going to go through a very grounding flow, moon flow, Chandra Namaskara, in the next 30 minutes. So gear up, find your comfortable space if you do have a mat laid out so your feet are going to be grounded. But this flow is mostly because we're all going through craziness around us. So it'll be a lovely way to find this space, get the body to understand what it feels like to root down, to connect to what can keep you still going. So today's flow is all about finding that in your mind while we move through a series of asanas but in a very grounding way, more than an invigorating way, all right? We are going to come to our Mandukasana. So have your, find a corner of your mat, have your knees as wide as you can, your big toes to touch. You're gonna to find a way to come to seat it up, tall spine. And I'm just gonna show you this way so that you and I are gonna do this together. And then I'll move back. So all you're going to do is, if you feel there's a pinch in your lower back, gently pulling that pubic bone up to your navel. So there's a bit of space that you can create in that lower back area. That will give you more space to sit tall. Beautiful. If you want to close your eyes or keep a gentle gaze just for the first minute for you to arrive, choose any of that and come into your space. If you're a regular practitioner and you are used to the Ujjayi Pranayama, where you're going to breathe in and out through your nose, but with a slight restriction in your throat, just that oceanic invigorating breath, that'll take you from asana to asana, where there's that internal heat building up. Great, we're gonna take our arms up as you inhale next. Exhale, coming back and down. A Couple more times, just around you. Natural flow of your breath. Exhaling, coming back. One more set all the way up. Grounding exhale. You're gonna take your right arm to the left side and threading it so the left forearm is going to find a way to come outside the right. Take a full breath in. As you exhale, gently pulling that left forearm in towards the left shoulder. Again, this is all for you to begin your practice. So this is the time for you to connect with your breath. And really getting to understand all those external things around you, the pace of your breath, pre-practice, letting go of all of that and just coming, arriving into your space. On your next breath in, you're gonna release, take the right palm down to the mat, left arm to reach high. Take a full breath in there. Maybe that slight bend in your elbows as well so that there's more stretch from your left hip all the way up to the elbow. Mm. Beautiful, coming back and up, doing the other side. So left arm threading, right forearm, finding its way outside the left. Take a full breath in. As you exhale, gently drawing the right forearm in towards the right shoulder. Just get some space around your shoulders. So this is more space and access for movement. Breathing in, taking your left palm down, right arm to reach. Again, use that full breath, maybe bend the elbow so the stretch is all the way from the hip to the elbow rather than the fingertip. Hmm. Keep pressing down gently through that left palm. So there's more access. Inhale, coming up. So we're gonna go back in case you've changed positions. Go back to the edge of the mat, arms to reach high, breathe it in. 
as you exhale, find your way to fold forward. Hmm. All you're going to do is use the palms to press down. Inhale to come via tabletop to a low or a high cobra. Bhujangasana. Now I've taken my big toes out. So I've gotten some space here if you need a couple of neck rotations. Just to see how you want to get started. You're very welcome to bend your elbows and take it low. I've got a bump in between. So I'm going to take the high version. One more breath. Going back into your child's pose, wide knee. So one more full round, all right? Inhaling, arms to reach high. Breathe it out all the way to the top of the mat. Next breath in to your Bhujangasana. Spread the toes out and bring them back in once you move back into your child's. Hmm. Really nice. Inhaling to your all fours tabletop. Just take a few movements here. It could be a figure of eight movement. It could be circles. It could be your usual cat cows. Anything that you will need just to lubricate, to get things clicking away, letting go of all that stale energy. So you can very well be in your practice. Changing directions if you need to. Beautiful. We're gonna find our way to come up all the way to standing in however, in whatever way you wanna stand. We're gonna take a stroll to the top of the mat. Great, Chandra Namaskara moon salutation kind of a different flow from your sun salutation or surya namaskara and that's what we're going to learn today you can use it on your full moon new moon times any time when you feel there's a bit of low energy you can really use this grounding flow to take you and find you find your stability most importantly so we're going to start from one corner of the mat where well, preferably the left side, we're going to do the right side first. Arms to reach high, interlacing your hands. Take your gaze up to your fingers. On your breath out, send your hips to the left, fingers to the right, and finding your gaze all the way to the left side. Again, we're not moving down, we're opening. Beautiful, breathing in, coming up to the other side. Hips to the right, fingers to the left, Take that extra bit of space. Mm, inhale to come up. And we'll start this flow with the right leg going all the way inside the mat. So come into shoulder width or even a little bit wider feet, taking the toes out and heels in. We're going to get a little bit of a bounce with your knees just to see where we are. Again, the first one we did, drawing that pubic bone in and up to your navel taking space to your lower back. Take a full breath in, exhale, sink your hips low. We're coming into your goddess. If you want to take your chin mudra, gyan mudra, really good to come into that brain activation, neurons going on inside. Just switch on for a bit. You can take a couple of movements as well. We're again just starting the practice. The first side will go a little slow, so Asanas get into our body and make their way into how our body structurally is. So take your movements side to side and keep your breath flowing. Beautiful. Coming all the way up as you breathe in, you're going to turn the left foot parallel to the shortage of the mat. Hands to your hips. We're going to move into three Konasana. So take that right hip back, left up. Reaching with your right arm as you inhale, inhale, inhale. Breathing out, allow the hand to land wherever it does. Inhale, find that wave that can take the left arm up. Keep pressing through the center of both your heels, the mounds of your big toe joints. That's your key point. Really nice, if you feel like you're just somewhere there with your shoulders, bend the elbow, squeeze your shoulder blades towards each other. You want to find space. So why not? One more inhale. 
Breathing out, both your arms down, palms down, or even fingertips down. Turning that left foot, left heel further back. I'm going to take space so my right foot goes further to the right because I have broader hips. Pyramid, that's where we are going. So your choice to stay. You can take a couple of pulsations, breathing in halfway. Exhale to fold further. Yeah, that's it. Find that space through the back of that right leg. Drop the left knee down. Inhale, Anjaneyasana. Hmm. Coming up to your low lunge again. Arms can be out. You can get your palms to touch. Kali Mudra is really good as well because you're opening your hips and inner thighs. So all the energy going up, lifting you a little bit more. Taking one more breath. Really good. Coming in. So both your palms are inside the right foot. Tuck the back toes, turning to the right side. Skandhasana. Find your seat. Sometimes you may wobble, you may not wobble. All of that is different. So if you need support, take your fingertips down. If you can work with balance and drishti, where your gaze is, setting it to something that doesn't move, then you can find a sustaining space in this asana. Really good to open down, finding fluidity. Keep that left foot flexed just for that extra oomph. And we're going to find our way all the way to the left side. So again, with or without support, you choose. Make your way bending into that left knee. So I'm going to flex the right foot. You can take half support, full support no support. Wherever you are, sitting tall is your key as well. You don't want to be like, I want to grab things. No, we want to find a way to get access. So see what works for you. Turning to the left side, dropping the right knee down, breathing into your Anjaneyasana. Maybe you're just here with your hips, that doesn't matter. Finding your edge, your max, that's all that matters. Kali Mudra, if that's happening to you, maybe the gaze sets up. Hmm. Lovely. Coming back onto your fingertips, tuck the back toes. You're going to find your pyramid. So the right heel is going to ground down. See where you want to place that left foot. If you need space, take it further to the left. Three pulsations or finding stillness, whichever. So really finding that length as you inhale, grounding down a little bit more as you exhale. Two more breaths, your choice. We're gonna pivot that right foot parallel to the right edge of the mat. Left arm can stay where it is, right arm reaching high, trikonasana. Hmm. Again, your hips already will ground because we're going from down to up. But what we don't want is a sulking upper body, right? We want the energy to move up as well. Balance is attained when we have both ways. We have success in both ways. Inhale, coming all the way up. We're going to go back to that goddess. So your toes are out, heels are in. Again, take that slight bounce in your knees so that you're just not locking anything. Draw the pubic bone in and up to your navel. Full breath in to lift. Full breath out to come into your goddess. Chin mudra is great. If you want to be here, create that movement one more time, side to side. This time maybe taking the toes off to see if that's going to give you stability and strength. Mm, we're closing round once. So right foot meets the left, interlace your hands all the way up. Exhale, hands to heart center. Take a few breaths, come back to that original pace of your breath. Hmm. The slower we get, the tougher it can become. So it's okay, first round is all about figuring it out. We're gonna take a stroll all the way to the other side of the mat. Nothing complicated, simple. 
and we're going to go a little bit more dynamic to see how the same flow we can work around a little bit more to see how our body reacts to it. Take a full breath there. Open your mouth, clear the breath out. Maybe one more time. Lovely. Inhale, interlacing your hands up. Some hips to the right, fingers to the left. Gazing to the right side. Breathing in, picking up. Moving on to the left. Coming up. Really nice. Sending the left leg all the way out. We'll find our goddess. We're getting used to this. So again, you know the rituals. Do all of that. Use your exhale to move in. This time, we'll take the hands to your thighs. Again, take a couple of movements. Hands to your thighs will be a bit more, you'll be able to sit a little bit lower. We'll take a couple of twists here. So take a full breath. As you exhale, right shoulder down, left up, take a twist. Inhale, come up. Exhale, find your left down, right up. Breathing in. Exhale, twisting right down. Inhalation. Exhalation, left down, right up. Last set coming up. Right down. Breathe it in. Taking the last, last twist. Inhale, coming all the way up. We're moving into Trikonasana, left side. So the right foot pivots parallel to the right edge of the mat. Press the outer edge of that right foot. That's a really nice focus area. Hands to your hips so you're able to very gently push the left hip back. The right one goes up. Reach, reach, reach with your left arm. Exhale, Trikonasana. Coming into your space, but this time a little bit more. Maybe fire to the earth. So take the upper hand all the way out that left side. Yeah, full extension. Maybe the lower hand as well. So you're really finding your feet anchoring to the earth for this. Taking one more full breath. Exhale, really is find your pyramid, turning the right heel, pulsations if you're getting better at it, if you're getting into the flow of it. Inhale, maybe even take your hands off the support. Exhale to fall deeper. Couple more times, this is just rooting you farther down, down towards your intentions, getting you to believe and stick to what you want to manifest. Dropping the right knee in, Anjaneyasana. Hmm. Again, we're going to take a couple of flows here. So as you breathe out next, straightening that left leg, flexing your left foot, Ardha Hanumanasana. Just to get some space to the back of that leg. Two more times, inhale, reaching high. Breathing out, straightening that left leg. Last one, rebend. Arda, coming back. Beautiful. Moving forward, both your hands inside the left foot, coming into your Skandasana. Again, see where you want to go this side. There's always a different side. It's always different every time you come into a single asana. We're going to take the left fingertips down, right arm to reach high. Again, a couple of rotations there. Exhaling, coming down, hovering down to the mat. Breathing in, open up through your chest. Exhale, curl it down. Last one, up. Bringing it down. Hmm, making your way to the other side. Inhale, reaching up. Exhale, hovering down. Keep flexing that left foot, breathing and expand. Contracting and releasing. Last one, find space. Find your closure. Turning to the right side, dropping the left knee. Anjaneyasana, low lunge, coming up. 
What is your end range of motion? It doesn't matter. Half Hanuman. As long as you have an experience towards this, inhale, ha, um, low lunge. <laughs> Exhale, half Hanuman. Keep flexing that right foot last time, moving it. Finding your own flow, breathe it out. Lovely rebound. Fingertips there, tuck the back toes, straightening both your legs. Pyramid. Hmm. Again, ground down, you can take a shorter pyramid, a longer pyramid, a wider one. Make it work for you. Breathing in for your half pulsation, coming down. Two more. Last one, feeling the hamstrings open up a little bit more through the right leg. Going just again, taking the back foot parallel to the left edge of the mat. Allow the arm to stay where it is. Left arm peeling up. Trikonasana, so we're going to take a little bit of fire. Left arm moving out and open to the right side. Right arm following it and maybe interlacing your hands, why not? Pressing down through your heels, inhale, lifting up. Coming into your goddess, again, find your way, exhale to sit low. Beautiful, take a moment there, breathe it out. We're just going to find stillness, inhale, lengthen, exhale, fold. Last one, coming up, breathing out. Beautiful, inhale, coming all the way, and we meet the top of the mat, arms to reach high, exhale, hands to heart. Hmm. We're going to make our way to coming down to seat it. Just before we find our rest, coming into a wide diamond just for a few breaths. Find your torso sitting up just to get a little bit of space and we are preparing to find our rest. Just that one round, full round, so your intentions begin to get manifested. This is your choice. If you're ready for a Shavasana, take it directly. If not, you're more than welcome to stay here in your meditative space. If you're in your Shavasana, find your way to lying down. Take your legs out, arms out. So there's just a lot more space that you can take. Your body has just gone through something big. So it needs the rest. Rather, it deserves the rest. Taking your time for that. Let your breath soften. Let your body soften. And I'm going to leave you there if you want to very well continue your rest for a longer period of time. Go for it. It's your body. Listen to it. If you're with me, then making your way with very slight movements to come up to seated. It's a good morning flow, good afternoon flow, evening flow, right before you go to bed as well. Make it yours. We're gonna join our hands to heart center and bowing down together. Namaste. Thank you so much for joining me for this practice. Happy Paddy's Day. Have a wonderful one and I'll see you soon.